All right, guys. So uh, today's video is going to be on um, the Coleman Lantern. This is the one that I uh, told you I acquired from a almost like a trash buy, basically. So um, I did end up the two mantles had obviously burnt out on that were existing. The the ones that I found on there burned out already. They uh, kind of fell apart after a while. So. And that's obviously going to happen with any kind of mantle. Now, when I went to the REI store, they didn't actually have the correct. So this is the package of the correct type of mantles. It's the number 21s. All right. However, the store only had number 20s, which are slightly smaller. They still work. I've tested them, and there's actually number 20s on there right now. But uh, I, I don't know. I have a feeling they don't work quite as well because they seem to fall apart a lot quicker. Regardless, let's do the video. Let's do this. Alright. Here you go. So, let's remove the nut. And we're going to be tying on the new mantles. And then we're removing the old ones first and then tying on the new ones. And in terms of how do, how I um, how I when I take when I take the lantern apart, what do I do? Is I set down. So this is the ventilator. I take it. it it'll want to go like this because one end is more uh, is top heavy on this. So it'll want to do this. Flip it over and keep the, the right side up. And that's what I do. And then set it onto the flat table. And then take your globe straight up and then place it directly on top of the ventilator. It fits pretty well. Um, obviously, you need a flat table for this, but it prevents the ventilator from getting dust. I mean, the uh, globe from getting dust on the inside. So, you want to avoid that. So, as you can see, I don't know if you can. This right here is a number 21 mantle. It is a little higher up, but you can tell the overall length is longer than this. So, this versus that. I mean, they actually aren't that different when it comes down to it, but um. Either way, I was able to find some number 21s uh, having them shipped here. So when I do get them, I will, I will, I will uh, make another video for that. But um, let's take these off now. You can clearly see these are destroyed in many ways. So this one right here is just this huge gaping hole. And then this one has a huge gaping hole. Can't really see it very well, but right in here, that's a huge hole. And I just knocked some off, actually. So let's just uh, take these off, and uh, I'm gonna do this over over the table so I can just sweep this into the garbage can once I get uh, once I get this out. So what I do is you tip it over. Let's, let's move the camera down a little bit. There you go. So you can see, and then shove your object. I'm using a screwdriver in this case, and kind of just pull the, the cabling. Watch out for the dust. Kind of let it settle. You don't want to breathe it in. Okay, once you've let the dust settle a little bit, you can just peel it off, and it should just come off. You gotta be careful, though. And there you go. Sorry, guys. Hold on one second, I got a better idea. Just to be safe, guys. I'm all for taking risks, but not when my life or health is in danger. So, uh, and this is because I have a really small room. If I had a larger room, I wouldn't be so worried, but there's not much air movement going on in my room. It's a really small room, so. Just to finish up the job here. Alright, I got this mask on, so. Should do the trick. All right, let's get the second one off, and in a second I'll be blowing on here to kind of um, clean off the dust on here. You want to do that before you uh, close up your, you know, put the globe back and everything. Before you do that, you want to clean up the, uh, the remnants of the previous mantle. All right, that one's straight in the garbage. 
And now let's kind of let all this settle for a second, and then take a breath back here. All right. Let's blow these off. And blow all around in here just to get the dust out. You can even take the heat shield off. Um, make sure you don't get any saliva on there. It's a bad thing. But um, once you have that all set up, we're gonna take out our new mantles. These are number 20s, but uh, you technically you should use 21s on here. Uh, all right. And then I get the string tie. I mean, I don't know why people get the uh, wire ties. I mean, you're just paying more for less. And, I mean, unless of course you have a disability or an issue where you can't your fingers. You're basically you have an issue where you're unable to to tie tie the small string, and if you have an issue like that, I, I totally respect that. But if you're honestly just lazy, that's you're just wasting money. It really, I mean, it, you shouldn't even. I mean, if you're that lazy, then there's something wrong with you because it's really not that hard. So um, anyway, take your mantle, slide it on there, and let me turn it so you guys can see. Alright, All right, so what you can do is uh, turn it this way, there we go, is take your string, as you can see, and you're just doing a, st a standard square knot or whatever it's called. Basically the one where you go over, under and over, under and over, twice. And that's it. So we're going the initial uh, kind of setup. The knot, so you might it might come off. That's all right. Then slide it back over and tighten. And I usually have the the folded the folds kind of parallel to the generator tube. The generator tube being this brass tube in the middle. So that that's what I have right now. And so now that we've done our initial knot, let's just finish it off here. Um, looks good. Remember, these have to be cured or burned, basically. It's just to get rid of the silk fabric, which leaves behind the metal oxides, which is what gives you the light. So I'm going to trim these, and trim real close, because you don't want this, uh, this string stuff to, um, end up shortening the life of the mantle by, you know, end up hanging down and punch in a hole or whatever. So let's do the second one real quick. I'll tie this one off before I put it on so it's it's a little easier. Hold on a second here. Alright. Alright, I got it going there. Now let's just slide it on. And these mantles, I'm lucky at this these don't have holes in it. Sometimes the Coleman mantles will come with holes in it. Basically you gotta trash at least one of them. Or sometimes both, if you're really unlucky. <laughs> um, which sucks because you know you spent the money to buy the mantles and you still end up sucking. So I don't know. <laughs> All right, we got the second mantle on there, and then let's finish up the knot. And there we go. All right. Let me take the camera and let's go cure them. Now, I wanted to go outside for this, so that's what we'll do. Uh, uh, yeah, taking this Tiger lighter, it's a double torch. There we go. Let's see, pretty nice. So, um, oh, wait, hold on, guys. We're to do one thing here. Gotta cut, cut the string on this thing. Ooh, almost dropped my globe there. That's not good. It's dangerous. Be careful, guys. Alright, guys. Sorry about keeping you waiting. Alright. Alright, hold on. Let me get the lighter, too. 
All right, I'm going to turn on the outdoor light here. Just going out to a deck outside. Okay. So this is, I don't know if you can see, there it is. And we'll just light the mantles. And they should start burning. You don't want to breathe in the fumes, obviously. Well, these are all going in my, my house. These fumes are backing up into my house, but anyway. Oh, yeah, you don't want to breathe this stuff in, man. Make sure it's all burned before. Make sure a majority of it's burned, and then you can you can decide to run the gas after you're done burning off everything here. As you can see, I'm being really thorough. You end up with a better, longer lasting mantle if you go through the whole process and burning all the sides. Just finishing up, getting all the different sides of the mantle. As you can see, there's still a lot left to deal with here. Not a lot, but you want to make sure they're all done. So let me just get this here. And if you see any black spots, you want to get rid of them. We're almost there. And I'd say at this point, it's perfectly okay to um, hold on a second, guys. Get my lighter set up here. Oh, what do you know? My lighter melted. All right, hold on. Hold on a second. Yeah, it got a little too hot there, cheap plastic part anyway. Not a problem, I'll contact Tiger about it, you know. But, yeah, let's just finish up. Alright, and it looks good. So what we're going to do now is to finish up the final process is let it uh, ignite it and then let it run. And that should clean up any of the final imperfections in terms of unburned material here. As you'll see on the top, there's still some unburned material. So until that all turns white, you won't want to run this indoors or in closed areas at all. I mean, you should never really do that, but especially not once this happens. So we just lit them. We're going to let them kind of cure a little bit. And s Sorry about the flames there. there there's going to be a little bit of flare-up every time you start up here. It's good for setting the mantles, though. As you can see, well, maybe you can't. There's a lot of smoke coming off of them still. That's due to the top parts burning. So we're running at full brightness right now. Without the globe or the ventilator.